Hello Aquarius, welcome to a love reading. We're going to be looking at what are the current energies um, for you regarding love and the near future energies. So what can you expect? As always, these readings are general, so they will not, cannot resonate with every Aquarius watching. All right, let's jump in for Aquarius. Spirits, angels, guide messages, please. Guidance for Aquarius regarding love and relationships. What can Aquarius expect in love? What can Aquarius expect in love, spirit? Hidden feelings came out. Okay, so you or the person you're dealing with are hiding a bit about how you feel right now. Divine timing. Okay. What else? What else do we need to know regarding love? Divine Feminine. Hmm. I got one more. One more for Aquarius. What's going on here? United. Cooperation and Harmony. Interesting. I feel like this is almost like a reading about people coming together. Reuniting in divine timing. But right now, feelings have not been expressed or feelings are hidden in some way. Um, I don't know if you are even communicating with this person. Let's see what else we get for Aquarius regarding love. What do we need to know? Regarding love, what do we need to know? For Aquarius. Yeah, okay, divine timing is definitely a thing for the for the Aquarius that I'm reading for. Aquarians. Spirit is involved in some way. And flirt is here, which it's very lighthearted, young, um, early energy. I don't know. I feel like a lot of you are going to be restarting something with a past partner. Could be a past life partner also. Um, but this is just what I see so far. So let's see what else we can get for you, Aquarius. Spirit, can we get some current and future energies for Aquarius regarding love? What can Aquarius expect in love? February 2022. What can Aquarius expect regarding love? Okay, let's see what we get. So current energies, what's going on right now for you? Ace of Wands, Reverse, Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, this is definitely like a divine timing reading <laughs> and knight of swords reverse and i'm going to put down these energies for the future bottom of the deck and the overall energy is wow the two of cups are you kidding me yeah there's definitely something happening here um with like soulmates divine timing you know things happening when they're meant to uh that's definitely like a theme here for your reading now, the Knight of Swords is reversed, the Ace of Wands is reversed, which tells me divine timing is absolutely necessary because something is not happening right now. Not starting, not, there's no communication. If there is communication, it's not the good kind. You know, it's like fights and arguments and disagreements, which all those mean the same thing. <laughs> but you know what I mean, Aquarius. It's just, something's just not going well right now. And I think it's because this Wheel of Fortune, the timing is important. Things need to be uh, moving at a certain pace. So let's see what we can get here in terms of some clarity. I want to start with the Wheel of Fortune. Can I? Can you tell me about the Wheel of Fortune for Aquarius Spirit? Why is the uh, Wheel of Fortune here? Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Five of Swords. Why is the Wheel of Fortune Mm, I'm getting a seer. Okay. And the moon. This is that hidden feelings energy. 
I think that someone um, in this connection, they had to watch the person they loved walk away from them or they had to walk away from what they loved. Pisces energy with the moon. This is like secrets, so illusions. I feel like someone has not, there's no closure for this. For, for the Aquarians that I'm talking to, you and this person have not really been able to talk things out or clear the air. You haven't received closure. And I feel like it ended badly. Something must have happened here. And now it's like you hide how you feel about what happened. Um, this could be you or your person. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. Uh, Wheel of Fortune with the Moon also tells me that you might not even know that this is going to happen when it happens. Like, you know, if, if it is divine timing, you're not expecting it, you know. Uh, justice, Libra energy. Yeah, it's like someone make, making things right. Things being fair, balanced, um, equal. Can I get one more for the Wheel of Fortune? Yeah, the Chariot, Cancer energy. This is This is definitely... And then the Lovers at the bottom of the deck. Very clear energy. I feel like this Wheel of Fortune is setting things in motion, um, moving things forward, moving things along. Um, I think that with the Chariot here and Justice, it's like this is meant to happen. Um, this could be happening quickly with the Chariot as well. It moves quickly. Um, and the Chariot is all about being on a path towards success, being on the right path, moving quickly towards success. So I think it's like something was not successful, not good with the Five of Swords. And I feel like a lot of you were left confused, unsure, um, have doubts over what happened or just you don't have the clarity. Um, but this is definitely a soulmate partnership. We have the lovers here at the bottom of the deck and the Two of Cups was the overall energy. Tell me about this Two of Cups. Tell me about this Two of Cups for Aquarius. Yeah, the Ten of Swords. So yeah, something ended between you and this person. Tell me about the Two of Cups. Okay, hold on. Temperance, Sagittarius energy. We have the Ten of Cups and the Devil, Capricorn energy. Yeah, this is, um, I feel like this connection had a lot of potential. And it ended badly. I'm getting that some of you, there's something that got in the way. It could have been addictions, bad uh, bad influences, unhealthy dynamics. Someone could have been dealing with a difficult past, you know, maybe they needed inner child healing. It's something, something that um, drove a wedge between you. Sorry for like the sounds of me slurping my coffee. <laughs> I can't help where the mic, where I clipped the mic, okay. So let's keep moving here. Um, now, okay, so before I move on, <laughs> this uh, Temperance card and Justice card, very similar energies. It's just the approach is different. Um, it's all about balance, harmony, being united or uniting to very different things. Um, I think that this connection has a, this is serious soulmate energy. And I'm almost getting like karmic energy. So I feel like you were meant to meet this person and it was meant to end the way that it did, as difficult as it was. Because for some reason, the Wheel of Fortune is here to rebalance it all for you. Now, I want us to be very clear about the Wheel of Fortune because a lot of people think that it just happens and we don't really have any participation and that's not true. The Wheel of Fortune is an opportunity that presents itself to us. Some sort of an event or momentum that we decide what to do with, right? Um, it presents itself and then we decide if we're gonna take that opportunity or not. So someone I feel is participating here with the chariot. It's like someone's taking in the justice card, like they're taking the reins of this. They're gonna make things right or they're gonna do you know, what they need to do. What's this? I'm just curious. Yeah, six of cups and the king of pentacles. If anybody's gonna get things done as the king of pentacles, they kind of remind me of the emperor in that regard because for them it doesn't matter how difficult something is, they have a plan for it. Okay, so let's look. What's the Ace of Wands reverse about? What's this Ace of Wands reverse? I think that there's some sort of block. And it could be a lack of communication. Tell me about the Ace of Wands reverse. Six of Pentacles. 
I feel like someone's thinking about this. Yeah, the Hermit Virgo energy. Yeah, exactly what I was thinking here. <laughs> and then the Lovers again. Someone's thinking about the fact that things are not moving. Or that things are not being created. The Ace of Wands reverse is almost like an adventure that can't happen or is delayed. Um, it's something that's not, you know, the, the Ace of Wands is all about creating something new. A passionate endeavor. A passionate, forceful new beginning. It's a fiery new beginning, right? So when it's reversed, there's something that's not happening, not being created. There's no adventure, no new beginning. <laughs> so I feel like someone is thinking about this in the in the frame of um, a relationship. So a relationship that hasn't been able to start, begin, continue, etc. I don't know if this is you or your person. I feel like it will be both of you. Um, now the Six of Pentacles is here. So I'm getting like an exchange, someone giving you something. Tell me about this Six of Pentacles. Again with the balance. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles. This one. Okay, yeah, they're holding back. I feel like this is someone who needs to express themselves but isn't. They need to open the door, but they aren't. Um, they're holding back when they should be reaching out. The Sun. Yeah, I feel like this is all about, um, this is a very simple, okay, relationships are not complicated. <laughs> we make them complicated. I think that that's what's happening here. I think that both of you recognize what your relationship is, what it means to you, what it could be in the future. But I feel like this is either pride, ego, or fear. And someone is not, instead of going through the door they're outside and there's the empress i mean it could be that this is someone that's insecure or afraid to face the other person tell me about the knight of swords reverse why is the knight of swords reverse wow the wheel of fortune yeah the wheel of fortune is is very i mean this is like a divine timing reading this is going to happen at the right time, an opportunity that presents itself almost as if spirit is like, here, take this, <laughs> do something about this. Queen of Wands, definitely action oriented, the Queen of Wands. She's very bold, fearless. Um, yeah, Ace of Pentacles. This is, yeah, and there's the Ace of Wands. This is all connected. Someone just needs to reach out. Someone needs to just talk. Um, someone needs to use this Wheel of Fortune to their advantage because I feel it's going to appear somewhere soon. There's going to be an opening, you know, somewhere soon for, for you or for this person. It could even be that someone reaches out with like a joke, a meme or something small, something lighthearted. <clears throat> but what they really want is this Ace of Pentacles. Someone can make a comment about your appearance online. You know, maybe you put up an Instagram story, you look great. And the other, this other person is like, you look great. And that is at least breaking the ice. I feel it's going to be something as small as that. So where is all of this headed? What's What can we expect in the near future? Ten of Swords reverse. Nine of Cups reverse. And the Seven of Pentacles. Jesus Christ. <sighs> humans. Humans. <laughs> I feel like um, what's happening here is a delay of gratification and it's someone's own fault. I feel like someone's having a pity party here, especially with these two, feeling sorry for themselves. Now the Ten of Swords reverse is, uh, it could be a delayed ending, like an ending that had to happen, but someone's delaying it. But it, this could also be that someone wants to move past this ending that already happened between you. Because you have the Ten of Swords here. So let's see. Why is the Ten of Swords reverse? Why is the Ten of Swords reverse? Ten of Wands. Why is the Ten of Swords reverse? The Nine of Pentacles. King of Cups. Someone has... You know what I'm picturing here is that... It's very difficult for someone to, they, 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 they're still carrying this ending with them. And I almost see them admiring you from afar. You are what they want, what they desire. You know, what they love, King of Cups here. But uh, 
I don't see any action here. Tell me more about this Ten of Swords reverse. Tell me more about this Ten of Swords reverse. I think this is why divine timing is so important too. Yeah, ten, Two of Cups. Someone knows what they want. Page of Pentacles here. They don't. They 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 wish that this ending could be reversed. So why the Nine of Cups reverse? Now the Nine of Cups reverse. Sometimes it could be that. You have, you get what you want, but you sacrifice something else. There's a compromise. You know, your wish is granted, but it's not exactly the way that you thought it was going to be granted, or it's not as satisfying. Tell me about the Nine of Cups reverse. Why is the Nine of Cups reverse? Wow, judgment. <laughs> These are very powerful energies. Um, tell me about the Nine of Cups reverse. King of Swords. Yeah, this is clarity. This is communication. Yeah, there's the nine of uh, the page of cups at the bottom of the deck and the world. Exactly. Um, so what's the hold up? That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> so what's the hold up? Okay, let's look at the Seven of Pentacles reverse and I'll look at all of these together. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles reverse spirit. Why is the Seven of Pentacles reverse? The lovers. Why is the Seven of Pentacles reverse? Why is the Seven of Pentacles reverse? Ten of Pentacles. Why is the Seven of Pentacles reverse? Why is the Seven of Pentacles? Two of Swords, Ace of Wands, Page of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Near future energy. Hmm. Okay, I see this in a few ways. The first way that I see this is someone calling you, talking to you. King of Swords, judgment. They've been thinking about this here. And they want to talk to you about it. This could be like a phone call, a text, something like that. Um, however, I think it's not, you know, this. there's going to be something with this conversation where um, maybe they're going to tell you why they can't do what they want, you know, maybe they're going to tell you, you know, like, oh, you know, we had something really special, but now I'm married <laughs> or something like that. Um, I feel like this is more fear. This is someone being afraid, the two of swords. They're undecided, but it's because they're afraid. And that's why the seven of pentacles reverses here. This is a card about impatience frustration but also a card about you invested in the wrong thing you put your time and energy in the wrong thing and it didn't grow it didn't manifest you wasted your time or you feel like you wasted your time i think this person sees the potential but for some reason they're scared that this is not going to end up the way that they hope maybe they think this is an illusion maybe they think oh when i think about aquarius I could see us being a one big happy family, but the reality is probably very different. And I feel like they just keep telling themselves this. Or I see Aquarius is doing really, really well. Aquarius looks great. I am nowhere near that. I am not ready to meet Aquarius at that level. I have a lot more to uh, accomplish on my own. I don't really have anything good to offer. I'm gonna start this with Aquarius and it's gonna end badly. Something like that. This could also be the way that you're thinking. Let's see if we can get um, some sort of um, insight into this person's thoughts, feelings here. Spirit, can you give us some insight into this person's thoughts, feelings? When it comes to Aquarius, what are their energies? When it comes to Aquarius, what do we need to know? What do we need to know about this person's thoughts, feelings? energies when it comes to Aquarius you make me happy okay let me get a stellar soulmate and then we're going to take this to the extended because the extended is going to be everything you want to know about this person um, what are their thoughts feelings intentions towards you what are their next actions going to be in terms of actions I don't the only action I see here is this king of swords this judgment card I'll get one more for that energy, but I feel like this is <clears throat> this is someone that could text you, message you, but not take it any further. 
and that's a shame because i feel like the wheel of fortune is here to assist right but if they don't take advantage of it if they sabotage themselves please wait for me just a little bit longer and i don't have the courage to face you yeah this is fear aquarius plain and simple this person is too scared to tell you the truth about how they feel maybe they're ashamed of how they handled a situation maybe they are scared that you will not be uh, open to this tell me about judgment and the king of swords maybe they think that they need to have a little bit more time to meet you at your level tell me about judgment and the king of swords tell me about judgment and the king of swords page of swords exactly and there's the eight of swords at the bottom of the deck exactly what i am seeing and feeling here someone's scared to come forward despite the connection despite the fact that um they don't like where your connection is right now you know they don't want you to be separated or they don't want things to end the way that they ended um but at the same time i feel like their fear is messing with their head so I'm going to take this to the extended now, Aquarius. Um, if this resonated for you, if you enjoyed the reading, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. If you're interested in personal readings and all that fun stuff, check out the extended. The extended will be linked in the description box if you want to know more about this person's thoughts, energies, uh, intentions, and next actions towards you. We're going to dive a little bit deeper in the extended, so feel free to join us there. Otherwise, I'll leave